In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can create dummy or fake REST API for our Angular application with the help of JSON Server Library. So first of all, we need to install this JSON Server Library. And we can install JSON Server Library globally with this command. And we can run this command from anywhere in our machine or we can run this command from our Angular project root. From my Angular project root, I will open a new terminal and then I will run this command. This will take some time to install the JSON Server Library globally. So JSON server successfully installed and now let's check the documentation what is the next steps to follow. After installing this JSON server, we need to create a file called db.json and you can create this file anywhere in your machine. I'm going to create this file inside my angular project folder and then I'll create a new folder here called server and inside this server folder I'll create the db.json file. So let's create a new file here called db.json and then let's open this file in my visual studio code editor my angular project folder already opened in my visual studio code editor that's why we have this server folder here which i just created and here we have this db.json file inside this db.json file we need to add the resources in json format so we'll have a new resource called post and this will be an array and then inside this array we need to provide the post objects so we already have post objects inside our app shared services post service.ts file so here we have this post object so i'll copy that objects from here and then i'll paste that objects inside this post array and we need to wrap this keys inside double quotes i'll get back to you after wrapping all these keys inside double quotes i wrapped all the keys inside double quotes and for the value we need to wrap that inside double quotes too we cannot wrap the value inside single code if we use single code this will throw an error and for the number and boolean value we do not need to wrap the value inside double code okay now let's check the documentation after adding your resources inside your db.json file we need to run the server and we can run the server with this command and we need to run this command from the project folder where we have created this db.json file so let's open a new terminal from here and then we need to run this command to run the server and this will run our server in localhost 3000 port let's copy this url and paste that url in the browser and then let's provide slash and then our resource name you see from this url we are getting the list of posts now i will tell you how we can short filter and search the post data so let's check the documentation and if you want to filter the data then you need to provide the key and value in the coexisting parameter so let's say i want the post of category science so i will provide the category and value in the coexisting parameter you see now we are getting the post of category science so that is how we can filter the data you can also provide another filter data here with this hand and then let's say title and let's provide a title so this that is how we can add multiple filter now i will tell you how we can short the data so let's say i want to short the data with short value let's say category and short order will be ascending let's hit this url you see you are getting the data with category in ascending order let's modify it to descending you see the short order is modifying right so this is how we can short the data now i will tell you how we can search the data let's say we want the post of title like 3 so this will return only those posts which has title containing this word called 3 whatever the word we are providing from the coexisting parameters so this is how we can search the data right now i will tell you how we can load the relationship data suppose inside our post array okay inside our post array we have i mean suppose inside our post object we have user data right now we don't have any other resources right so first of all let's add another resources then we can load the resources for each post so let's say inside our users array we have 
new user of id let's say one and user will have name so let's provide the user name here let's say hike hike coding and then let's provide the user email here so let's provide email is equal to let's say hike at gmail.com and then user may have some den uh, gender right let's say gender and let's provide mail and then user may have some profession you can add the keys as per your choice let's say profession will be developer okay and user will have a token let's say user token is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now let's add another user and this time the id will be 2 and the value will be john doe john doe and email will be john at gmail.com and okay user will have password to right along with the email so let's add password value so let's add 1 2 3 4 5 6 for the password and let's copy this password and paste it here for this user and profession is same and token will be different so let's provide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this is for the user resources so now let's check the url are we getting the user's data yes we are getting the user's data so that is how we can add multiple resources inside our db.json and we can get the data from the different url according to the resources right now i am going to tell you how we can load the relationship data suppose all of our post has a user id so let's add user id 1 here so let's say user id 1 and for the second post let's say user id 2 okay and for the third post user id 1 okay now i want that user id i mean i want that user data so first of all let's load all the post to this url so we are getting user id here right suppose i want to load the user data then how we can load the data so if i check the documentation there is a key value pair called expand so if we use this expand and what data we want to load we want to load the user data so we need to provide the user here now you see we are getting the user data right so this is actually for fake rest api so that's why we are getting this password and token for the uh, real api there will be no password and token for the user okay this is actually for the dummy purposes that's why we are getting this token and password so that is how we can load the relationship data okay with the help of the json server library and this api is to get the data right now i will tell you how we can create the record this is for getting the record right so there will be some route similar to this so this will be for the getting for a particular post and this will be for a uh, this will be for creating the record you need to make a post request to create the post so i will give you one example right now so let's open postman and then let's launch the postman application okay now i will tell you how we can make post request to create a new record okay so we need to provide the url first in the postman so what will be the url so the url will be our base url slash our resources and then yeah this will be the url and we need to make a post request to create the record right and then we will send the data from the body and then raw okay and suppose i will create a new record with this data let's copy this and then modify the user id will be same yeah modify the id only so let's modify the id and also let's modify the title okay let's modify this is feature to true and everything is fine now and need to provide application slash json through the header so let's choose it application slash json okay we need to provide this content type application slash json okay now hit this url you see we are getting this 200 response 200 trace code okay now if i refresh this url 
there will be now four records you see this record has been created right so that is how we can create the record now if you want to see the details of a particular post then you can provide the post id here you see we are getting this post data here okay now if you want to delete a particular post then you can make a delete request so let's say i want to delete this post right so we need to modify this to delete method and with this url you see we are getting this 200 status code that means we are getting successful response so let's refresh this url you see now we are getting only three records that means the last one has been deleted right so that is how we can create fake rest api with the help of json server okay you can modify the uh, port where you are running your server you can also create custom routes also you can add pagination functionalities you can check the documentation for that so that's it in the ne next lecture i will tell you how we can make http request in our angular application to get that post data and to create the post record okay so stay connected